most languages like java ruby and python come with some sort of a mechanism for importing libraries and modules that provide ready to use methods and functions this makes it easy for developers to write modules that can be distributed though natively the current edition of javascript does not provide such a mechanism the common js project provides a way of enabling your javascript app to go modular node.js implements this common js interface and thus you can download and import modules into your node.js app and instantly get access to packaged functions methods and features this is how you import modules in a node.js app you've seen this already but the interesting bit is that you can write your own modules for instance here we are importing a module called math module and this is how we wrote the math module it's basically a javascript object that defines two functions one for adding two numbers the other for subtracting two numbers all of this is exported out of the module using the module dot exports feature as you can see here to use the module import the module into your app using the require method and then just call the functions from the imported javascript object using the object dot function notation as shown here now node.js comes with a host of built-in modules that are required on a regular basis so everything from file system access to server streams and network related methods are readily available besides writing your own modules you can also download modules and packages written by the node.js developer community that is where the node package manager or npm comes in it is a single point repository of packages and dependencies that you can easily download into your project when you install node.js the node package manager installs along as a command line tool allowing you to easily download modules when needed we'll be using the npm all throughout this course so this video will serve more as an introduction the first thing you do with npm is initialize which creates an important file called package.json this is done by the npm init command which asks a basic set of questions and generates this file besides other things an important component of this file is the dependencies section which lists the modules and packages that we have downloaded from the npm repository for use in our project when you deploy your app to the server you do not upload these modules you simply upload your app along with the package.json file and this file then allows you to easily download all dependencies directly on the server this file has several advantages such as being able to directly update all dependencies and automate tasks as well let's quickly create a simple node js app that generates qr codes using a module that we'll download using npm let's begin by downloading the module first i'm already inside a local folder where i want the app to be placed i'll begin by typing npm in it and pressing enter this will ask me a bunch of questions such as the name of the app version number starting point of the app which in our case would be app.js and so on once done you'll see a package.json created for you in the folder let's download the qr hyphen image module we'll type npm install qr hyphen image which is the name of the package followed by double hyphen save and press enter as you can see npm downloads the qr image module into a folder called node underscore modules you don't need to upload this folder on the server as the package.json file will help you to automatically create this directly on the server since we used the save option when using npm install the package.json is updated with the qr image package as a dependency let's now create an app.js within which we'll import the qr image package like so
we'll also import the file system module as we have done earlier in the web server examples. We want to generate a QR code which sends the users to the Node.js website. For this, we'll access the QR image module like so and we'll use its image method where we will provide the Node.js website's URL that is www.nodejs.org followed by two options, one for the output file format and the other for size. Next, we are using streams here. So we'll pipe the output of this image method into fs.createWriteStream, which will write a file called myqrcode.png in the same folder as the app. Let's run this app by typing node followed by app.js. And if we now check in the folder, we'll find this PNG file, which as you would expect, contains a nicely made QR code. This is how simple it is to use npm to initialize the package.json file, download and save dependencies and using these dependencies in the app. Try this out now.